it's Leicester up and the following the, the win over Norwich it te means that's a, a kind of a winner takes all I, I, know, I know Leicester have got to play Forest uh, afterwards but you know going into that game you need to beat Leicester to give yourself a chance of qualifying it's, it's all set up for a good match isn't it yeah definitely I think we need to just just take it as that winner takes it um, we need to just ex expect them to to not get the result at Forest just because there's no no value in in thinking otherwise so yeah, hopefully it'll it'll be a good game, and we've we've played them before, so we've got nothing to fear and go into it all confident. Um, how crucial will big uh, big home crowd be at that match? Because you know fans have come out and supported the competition well so far, haven't they? Yeah, yeah, definitely. It's it's really noticeable when you play against the the other teams away, where it's kind of at the training grounds and and it's a smaller atmosphere. Um, and that's what they're used to playing their under 23 games. So hopefully we can show that with the lone players we've got playing out in front of crowds, and we're used to that that pressure that it brings, but also the uh, the added lift we get from it. Um, you've captained both those games as well. Is how pleased have you been t to take on that responsibility and perhaps lead some of the young, younger players that are playing? Yeah, definitely. It's not something I've I've done a lot through the years, um, and I think it's something I can always add to my game, and hopefully. There's people around me that are doing the same, um, leading the team. Um, but yeah, it's, it's really pleasing to, to be given that responsibility.